crowds have gathered on the streets of Zimbabwe's capital to demand Robert Mugabe's four decades of power come to an end. Thousands of people have been singing, dancing and waving flags at the colorful gathering in Harare and the event has been approved by the military. Some carried posters with an image of the military commander who placed the president under house arrest earlier this week, along with the slogan Go, Go, our general image anti-Mugabe marchers claim Zimbabweans have been suffering for a long time. One opponent of Mr. Mugabe, who at 93 is the world's oldest head of state, described the upheaval as like Christmas. Another marcher, Frank Mutsindiqua, told Reuters these are tears of joy. I've been waiting all my life for this day. Free at last. We are free at last. The rally has been organized by veterans of the country's independence war and long-standing opponents of Mugabe. We can't have a 93-year-old person ruling more than 15 million people, a poster circulating around the city said. Video Mugabe from freedom fighter to dictator The army has been holding talks with Mr. Mugabe on the way forward and in a statement read on state-run television, military officials said the operation remained solid and urged Zimbabweans to remain patient. Mr. Mugabe, who stoked anger with the sacking of his vice president Emerson Mnangagwa, has been left virtually powerless after being deserted by most of his allies. All ten regional branches of his ruling Zanif party have passed votes of no confidence in Mr. Mugabe with spokesmen from each area appearing on the news to read near-identical statements calling for him to quit. The province resolved unanimously to recall the president from being the president of the party and the government, said Cornelius Mipereri, a spokesman for the party's Midlands region. Image Mr. Mugabe is under house arrest as the military discuss the way forward with him according to Zimbabwe's War Veterans Association, Mr. Mugabe has asked for a few more days, a few more months. He made his first public appearance since the apparent coup earlier on Friday, turning up at a graduation ceremony at the University of Zimbabwe. Wearing an academic gown and mortarboard, he was cheered by the crowd as he opened the ceremony. Video Mugabe in first public appearance The catalyst for the move against Mr. Mugabe was the removal of his vice president, who was believed to be the military's preferred candidate to replace the president if he died or resigned. This cleared the way for First Lady Grace Mugabe who is 41 years younger than Mr. Mugabe to succeed her husband, a prospect that is thought to have angered many top military officers.